Today was the day that we expected to hear the Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School Public Safety Commission name the names of which school districts are still not complying with state law regarding school security standards. Our Phil Buck has been following this story for us all day long and Phil, I know the committee fell way behind schedule this morning. Did they ever get to this? They did, in fact, Carolina, just, uh, you know, within the last hour. And in fact, that that conversation really got hot, I would say, about 15 minutes ago. They're still talking about it. Grady Judd, Polk County Sheriff, uh, had some strong words to say, as did uh, the chair of the committee. But here's what I can tell you. Okay, according to data that's been collected by the commission right now, the state has more than 3,700 schools. We know for a fact that in those schools, there are more than 3,100 officers who have been assigned. Those are law enforcement officers and more than 1,000 guardians who've been assigned. Not only that, but when we take a look at, you know, the improvements that have been made just in the last couple months, take a look at in June. In June, this was the number of districts that said that some schools had no safe school officer present at all times during when school is in session. 10 districts, all right, skip ahead two months to this month, August, that number is now down to zero. Uh, we made improvements, and I'd say significant improvements, uh, just in the last two months from where we were at the last meeting when we talked about uh, the unacceptable uh, number of schools and districts that were non-compliant with the law in a variety of areas, uh, including the one that was most concerning, I think, to all of us, and that was that there was not a safe school officer on every campus. Now, most of the talk about non-compliant counties today has revolved around Miami-Dade, Broward, and Palm Beach counties. And so as of right now, it looks like all our districts here in the Tampa Bay area are in good shape. But keep in mind, most of the schools that have not been in compliance have been charter schools. So if you see any security-related concerns at your kid's school, whether it's a charter school or not, you can file a complaint through the Department of Education or you can do it right on your phone using the Fortify Florida app.